Hey guys, Mike Vasile here, and in this video, we're talking about how to make money with Amazon FBA, and more importantly, how you can make $100 to $700 in passive income as a complete beginner. More with that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Vasile here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop. But it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. Sign up for it in the link below. So I first got started with Amazon FBA because I just wanted more freedom. You know, we needed more money. I wanted to pay off the debt. I wanted to help my family, and I wanted to pay off my student loans. So Amazon FBA was like a really interesting opportunity that excited me, and it is for two million other people that are also selling on Amazon's platform. Well, the problem is when most people hear about Amazon, they're like, "What is Amazon FBA, and how can I actually go and get started and make my first $100 a day profit or $700 a day profit?" Well, here is exactly what you need to do to get started, even if you have zero experience. The first step is finding the right product. So what I like doing is literally going to Amazon and just seeing what exactly is selling right now. The thing about products is you don't want to create a new product because you don't know if people are actually going to sell it. You want to find certain competition gaps that are in right now that people are actually selling and find ways to actually do better than them. And I'll show you exactly how. But like what I did back in the day is I would remember I was just like, okay, I think people need grill gloves and grill mats for some reason. So I just typed in grill mat, and as you can see, these are what all people are actually searching for right now on Amazon. Like if, if any of these pop up, that means there's literally somebody out there on the other side of the world typing things on Amazon because this is what they actually wanna buy. And I'll literally just type the, the main keyword in there, grill mat, and I see that there's actually a lot of people going and making money with this. Now what does this actually tell me if I see a bunch of other people doing this? It shows me that a lot of people are making money with this. Even if I'm scrolling all the way down to like the last thing here on Amazon, there's literally people that still have like thousands, 11,000 reviews all the way down here, right? So that just means that a lot of people are actually making money with this product. So now let's talk about the second step. The second step is figuring out how to improve the product because that's what will give you the competitive edge and the unique angle to go ahead and sell it. So what I like doing is just pulling up one of these and I wanna see exactly what people did not like about this. Now the thing is if you go to all the top listings on Amazon and find out exactly what people do not like about it, that gives you a unique selling proposition that allows you to sell in the exact same niche but on a different communication level. You know, people are gonna be wondering why are you making sales but they're not? And it's because you're communicating to the people that are actually buying what it is that they want. So if I click on this right now and I just go to the first star thing, people are literally telling me that the quality built was not quality material. A few weeks of cold and rainy snowy weather. It started to tear up at the covers, corners, with side shelves touch the material. Chains are reviewed at two stars. Not really quality material. I can't imagine how this cover is going to look at the end of the winter. And then look at this one. It's not waterproof. It says it's waterproof. Uh, just a little over a month old. The straps have torn and now a hole in part of the cover. One month old and has holes at the corner. So they're telling me exactly all the things that they do not like about this, right? So what I would make sure to do when I source the product, I wanna make sure that all of these edges where the holes naturally come from, I wanna make sure that it is fixed. And it's not necessarily that, like, just that. We can even do cat toys, right? For the sake of the argument with this. I wanna find out what cat toys are popularly selling, you know, like these little kits and whatnot, and find out if there's anything that they're like, oh, well, I wish this was in there, or I wish that was in there, or I, or I don't know why this thing was in there. Maybe it should have been replaced with something else. If I come in here in the ratings and I do the exact same thing, look at this. Tunnel is dangerous. It would have killed my cat. Um, we're, we're treating my cat for damage that was done from the cat tunnel. After five months, we will need to continue treating for another five months with potential long-term damage. We had to do an invasive test. That's really interesting. Let's just go to the number one, 1% uh, 1 reviews. No tunnel. So as you can see, all the toys are a hit with the kitten and the two-year-old cat also likes them. I'm giving it three stars instead of five because it shows the tunnel in most of the pictures, but it does not come with it. Okay, so just like that, the tunnel is showing on this, so maybe it's good to go and get the tunnel, right? They're, they're advertising this, but it's not actually in there, and yet it has 12 thousand things. So what I would do is just focus all in on the tunnel. And if you notice here, they're not even using the word tunnel, right? 
If I just type in it on here, if I just type in cat tunnel, people are actually looking for it. So, so that's like a good sign. So once you figure out how to improve the product, the third one is you need to source the product and get a test order for quality. So in this case, I'll like going to a, a place called alibaba.com. Now what this is, is it connects you with all of the suppliers in China. So you can literally get this for dirt cheap. And let me just type in cat tunnel. And at this point, they're gonna come in here and show me all the suppliers that I can literally buy cat tunnels um, from China for really, really cheap. Now look at this, there's some really interesting cat tunnels out here. You know, like this one is a cool one because it looks like more higher quality with like a rug. Uh, we have, you know, this tunnel, which is like for $3. We have this foldable tunnel, which is like $2. You have this cool looking tunnel with like these things. They're like $14. Now you have a bunch of other things like this. Now what I would do is reach out to them, just chat now, and what I would do is find a sample that's high quality. Because what you could see is people are telling me they want the tunnel, but this looks like super dirt cheap. There's some people that literally spend thousands of dollars on their cats. I know some of them that live here in Bali. So of course you could get something more luxurious like this thing right here. What you do is chat now and be like, oh, this is great. Can I get a sample to find out if this is good quality or not? And of course, you could have them ship it directly to you. Now, of course, an order from China might take a couple weeks to actually go and get to you, but once it actually gets to you and you look at it and you inspect it and you find that it's a really good quality, the next step you wanna do is get your own logo and design for the branding. So what I like doing is going to graphic design and going to Upwork and just finding a graphic designer. The most important thing is when you scroll down, you wanna make sure that you type in Philippines because that is where you can get the most talented graphic designers for very, very, very cheap and affordable prices. As you can see, you can literally get a graphic designer to help you design a logo for $10 an hour, right? Or you can literally go to Amazon and just type in logo design as well. And people will literally design you logos for as little as like $5 or $15 in here. And they'll literally get it up and running for you within the next couple of days or so. Now the fifth step is once you actually have this order, you can literally go back to your supplier and be like, hey, this is my logo, can you print it on all of like the packaging um, when you send it to me, okay? You go ahead and order a minimum order quantity, which is the minimum they are willing to tell. So as you can see, this is the minimum, which is 10 to order, others are five, but then of course others are like something crazy like 200. This is a minimum order quantity, what they're willing to sell you the least amount of to give you still like the good discount on, right? For you to get custom designs on it, you need to, of course, like invest more in certain products. But you already have a design that you got for very affordable prices from Fiverr or Upwork.com and you would just send them to them in China and they would go and print it on your product. And of course, when you order it from China and you buy it in bulk, sometimes they either go through seas if it's very heavy or they'll do it through plane. And of course, expect a couple of weeks before you could actually get it. Now the sixth step, what I like doing in the time is taking the sample that I got and start focusing on creating like the good pictures and images, okay? This is very important, right? Because for example, if I just type in cat, tunnel, you could see that there's a certain type of theme that you need to put to sell on Amazon and they only like white backgrounds. So what I like doing is just going up to here and just type in Amazon product photography. And I'll literally take the sample that I got if it's a good quality. And I'll literally send it to these people to go and stage lifestyle product designs or regular photo shots of uh, products for literally $5, right? I'll literally ship it to them, have them do it, then receive the pictures. The images are most important because that's what I need to put on here to go in, you know, start selling on Amazon. Now, the seventh thing that I like doing is while I'm waiting for the, the shipping to come to me because it sometimes takes a long time, I wanna find out what are the right keywords I could go ahead and use. Now that I have someone taking the pictures, I need to find out what other things people are typing in for you know cats and I'll just type in cat tunnel in here and as you can see there's cat tunnel bed, cat for indoor cats, cat bed for indoor cats, indoor cats best sellers for indoor cats extra large. These are all the things that I wanna make sure I include in my title because remember what I told you, there's people that are actually actively searching for this right now on Amazon and what I would like to do is make sure that those keywords show up in you know the title of the keyword right here you notice that, that they put you know toy ball cat puppy kitten kitten rabbit three way collapsible cat tunnel these are all keywords that people are searching for and you also notice that they also put it you know tear resistant dangling ball on tunnel pet tunnel they're also putting and littering their keywords all over 
you know, the description as well. I would spend my time actually focusing on how I could actually create the right thing for this, you know? This is what is known as search engine optimization and keyword optimization for your listing. Now the eighth step is now you, your products already got in from China, you already have it. You have all of the pictures, you've created, you know, your search engine optimized, you know, title and description. The next step is very simple. You just send it to Amazon. You literally tell them, Amazon, how much products you have. They give you a bunch of shipping codes that, and you get to just put it on a bunch of boxes and you ship it in random places like to Kentucky or California or to like Wisconsin and whatnot so that they can just fulfill it in different parts of the world or in different parts of the US. And the last and final step is you need to do some type of marketing. So of course you could get sales by eventually ranking by certain you know, keywords and whatnot, but most of the times it's gonna take a little bit of time. What you can do is you can create a unique promo code from Amazon and then work with uh, influencers. So what I've noticed is if you go to YouTube and type in cat tips, you'll find out that people are getting millions of views, like here's 750,000 views, and she only has 16,000 subscribers. Or if I scroll up here, there's another girl right here that got half a million views, she only got 3,000 subscribers. What I would do is I would literally go up to them and be like, hey, I will give you a percentage of all of the profit that I make for anyone that uses your promo code. Now here's the thing, they're literally making videos for you for free, and they're helping you get more credibility to your Amazon listing and they're making money and you're making money but you don't have to spend any time on like the PPC or advertising campaigns or Facebook ads or whatnot which is pretty pretty difficult if you're just getting started. And then when the sales start coming in that's how you're gonna initially start getting your reviews as well as the sales velocity that will allow you to start ranking on Amazon which is the number one goal because that is when you finally get the passive income. But of course this entire thing might take six to 12 months and it also might take several thousands of dollars to actually get Get this up and running and started. And of course, if you don't have a year of your life to waste, if you don't have several thousands of dollars, go ahead and get started. Then I would recommend joining this week's free workshop because it is a faster and easier way to make money online. We literally have a 62 year old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days with the free workshop below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and listen to all these podcasts that I have here of all the multimillionaires that literally live in here in Bali or for some reason they left America and Australia to just come and make money line here. With that being said, I love you guys, I'll see you guys later. Ew.